Hey, how are you? My name is Danielle, and this is Daniela Diaries. Today we have a mid-size fashion haul. These are all going to be my favorite fall items for 2021. If you guys were ready to start expanding your wardrobe, maybe looking for some fall staple pieces, you have found the right place because we are going to talk all things fall fashion. We are a mid-size curvy girl here, so if you guys are around my sizing, I think you'll really appreciate this haul. So stay tuned because I have some really great things that I think will fit perfectly into your fall wardrobe. Hi, welcome back. So as I said, today we are doing our very first fall fashion haul. If you guys are new here, I have really been embarking on um, really living my best life and really presenting myself in the best way forward. So I've been really um, honing in on taking care of myself and putting more effort into not only my mental health, physical health, but also in my physical appearance. So I've been trying to make sure that every day I go ahead and I get dressed and I get ready for the day. Fall fashion has been my, has always been my favorite. I really love the comfy coziness of fall. I love the layers, I love the colors, I love the looks, and I my heart just truly sings when it comes to fall. It's just it's just meant for me. It's just we are one. I am one with fall. So if you guys were looking for some really great staple pieces for your wardrobe, I have the perfect haul for you. All of my items are from Fashion Nova. If you guys have never shopped Fashion Nova, then you are missing out. Fashion Nova is size inclusive, so we have everything from the standard sizing all the way from all the way to my plus size girls. So there is something here for everyone. It's not only limited to women, we also have kids, we also have men. There's accessories. Here is something for everyone. There is just your basic um, everyday wear, they have formal dresses, something for everyone, and there's a size for everyone. And I love Fashion Nova, I love their quality, I've been wearing them for years, I've washed things many, many of times and nothing has unraveled or ripped or shrank or anything like that. As I said previously, I'm really am trying to step up my wardrobe, but not step it up into where it's unrealistic to wear on an everyday basis. I'm gonna go more into this. I do have a, I do have a series called A Feminal Society where basically it is a step-by-step -step process of becoming that girl, really honing in on your feminine energy and really presenting yourself with, with your best foot forward. So throughout this journey, I've had to really take a look and start figuring out what my style is what is something that I will actually wear on a everyday basis and I feel like I found some really great pieces so I'm going to jump in I'm going to share everything with you for reference I am five foot six almost five foot seven I'm a hundred about 175 pounds and I wear I'm somewhere between a 12 and 14 right now. So, and again, I went through and I really just searched Pinterest, searched high and low, looked at a lot of different fashion bloggers, seeing what everybody's wearing so I could stay on trend, but also something that is a realistic wear. That was my biggest struggle is I would buy clothes that I would wear for when I would go somewhere. And let's be real, I don't go anywhere. I'm, I'm home. So I really wanted to find outfits that I can wear like every day and still put together, still look good, still be a feminine beauty the queen but be comfortable all the same let's jump into this haul shall we let's do this some of the items that I have seen, I have a Pinterest board. If you guys do not follow me on Pinterest, I suggest you do. I have a board completely dedicated to, it's called OOTD, like Outfit of the Day and Outfit Inspo. So there's a lot of things I just kind of go through and I will save them. I use these as a reference to start creating my own wardrobe. You will see that I have a lot of items that are perfect for daily wear and still give you, I really enjoy, I don't know how to say it, like kind of trendy street wear. That's kind of my style. I just like the way that looks, but for me, that's that's what works. But I am, again, trying to embrace um, more of my feminine energy, so I'm trying to step outside my comfort zone just a little bit, but still make it practical, okay? So I'll try to always, at least one day a week, I try to wear a dress, or now that it's getting um, colder, I'll start wearing skirts with tights just once a week, just to kind of step outside my comfort zone and to really push the limits and learn how to embrace a different side. But one thing I do knew I needed was some really cute sweaters, but sweaters that I can wear on the daily and be comfortable. So I found these two, which I love these colors. I love more of the neutral colors. I'm just a fan. This sweater I thought was beautiful. I got this in a size medium. I'm hoping I didn't uh, 
make a regret there i was reading the size guide and people said the size down it is more of a cropped fitting sweater i'm not a fan of sweaters being too big on me just because i don't have a lot of length in my legs and i feel like i will look really frumpy so i like a lot of my sweaters to hit like mid waist for myself that's just what i like you do what you like maybe you would like a full or longer size sweater they do have those there but this one is more of a beautiful cognac color it is a nice full, um, it's like a three quarter length sleeve. It is nice and thick too. So this would be great to even transition into the winter. And I love the scallop neckline here and it does wrap around and it's in a cognac color, like I said before. And I did get this in a medium. It does come out. So I mean, if you were like a breastfeeding mom, that would be cool. I'm hoping that I don't regret this. I might have to wear like a band overall underneath, but we will see. We'll try it on and I'll put a clip in. But this is one of the sweaters that I got. And this is called Finding Love Sweater in the color cognac in a size medium. Another sweater I found was this one. I thought this one was really cute too. It is a kind of cropped sweater and it has the balloon sleeve on it. And it has like kind of a chevron print. And it is in the ivory combo color. So it's like an ivory co um, cognac combo. And it has the buttons that are actual buttons. And it just kind of sits down. So I figured just to put like a little tank underneath it or if you want to wear a bra or whatever, um, you do you. But I thought this was really pretty as well. Nice and heavy for sure. This is definitely going to be something for like the later fall months. Maybe not right now. But I thought this was really, really cute. I love the neckline. And yeah, so I definitely thought this would be great to transition and have for um, just any time. You could wear this with some jeans, with a tank underneath it, or just like I said, with a bra by itself. But it is very, very thick. It's called the Madison Striped Cropped Carnigan. And I don't know, I thought it was really nice. Something a little different. The quality here is definitely really thick. So you guys will see how I put this on. Another thing that I truly love for fall is flannel. I love everything flannel. I love the flannels. I'm a 90s kid, so grunge was pretty cool back then. And I just wanted some practical flannels that I could wear. So the first one I got was this one. And this is actually a shacket, which I thought was really cute. Leo dies every time. I'm like, it's a shacket. He's like, what? I'm like, it's a shacket. But it's a shirt jacket. So it's kind of like these remind me of my dad. Like, you know how your dad always had like the thick flannel he would wear, you know, like to go like shovel snow or like that was like his transitional jacket. This is what this kind of feels like. So it is a heavier jacket. It is long, so you can wear it just like that. I've even seen people style these and use them just as dresses. So that's an option if you were shorter and comfortable with that length. I think that would be really cute. I would do this with like some black tights and some boots, like some, I would do docks, like I'm obsessed with docks this year. And I would do it like that. Or you could just do it with some leggings, like maybe some pleather or like leather leggings or little spank leggings, a um, like white shirt or even a hoodie and put this over it and throw on a baseball cap and be out the door with some uh, some like white um, like tennis shoes or white uh, gym shoes. I think that would be really cute, but it does have the buttons, the nice thick buttons on it. Again, it is nice and thick. I love the coloring, the browns, the blues, the oranges. It's very fall appropriate. I got mine in a size large. It's called Plaid My Next Move, Shacket and Navy Combo Size Large. And I really, really like this. I've been keeping my eye out for one of these for quite some time. And this one like hit all the needs. And then the next plaid, this is just a regular like plaid button down shirt. I love the two tones. So it has the this pattern on the front and then on the sleeves, it's a little bit of a lighter pattern. And I thought that was really nice. This is a lot um, more lightweight. So I was picturing this as a transition piece too from like the cooler to the months. And the way I've been seeing people wear it is with biker shorts and kind of a cropped, like almost like a sports bra, or a long line bra. And then they put this over it and they'll do like slouchy socks with like sneakers. And I thought that look was like super cute. So that's kind of what I'm trying to copy with this. But this will be also really cute with some leggings or if you want to tie it around your waist and wear it like that, you could. The options are truly limitless and 
just a nice piece just to have. You can just throw this out with some leggings too. This is called the squaring up flannel top in a size large. So I'll show you guys how I put that together right here. The next two pieces I have been seeing on trend as well and I thought they looked really, really cute um, where you could dress them up or dress them down. So what I got were these two button down shirts. So you can see this one is all white. This one is a little bit more fitted. It's kind of getting washed out here, but it's a little bit more fitted. Definitely a business type uh, shirt. And this is called the Tray Chic Poplin shirt. And with this one, it is a long line shirt and it has the like slits on the side. So it'll cover your butt. So if you want to wear these just with like leggings, you could. Like I see this and I'm like, okay, some like those black um, like leather leggings, this shirt and like maybe some boots or some heels, that would be really cute. Or how I've been seeing it is another way is they actually leave this open with a pair of biker shorts and like a sports bra and make it more of a casual fit. I thought that was really cute. Um, or you could even do this with like a pair of jeans and uh, just tie it up at the top. So one shirt, three different ways, totally different look so you can do like an office um like after five look with the heels and the leather leggings you can do like a leisurely look with the legging or the shorts the sports bra on this over with and like maybe like a like a, a bum bag or something so cute and then um you can do it with just like some jeans tie it up and maybe wear this for drinks after work and do it like that so different looks same top and you can do it all types of ways, okay? So I'll show you guys how I kind of come up with it, but I definitely liked the uh, versatility of this. And if you guys kind of see the whole uh, idea behind a lot of these pieces is making them as versatile as possible so I can wear them like just hanging out, you know, doing errands, you know, just trying to put a little extra effort into myself. And, you know, I like, my whole thought is I want people to see me and be like, oh, wow, she looks really good. She's really put together. And her outfits look like the ones on Pinterest because most, most of them are inspired by somebody on Pinterest. You know what I mean? So we got that one. And then I thought this would look really cute as well. This is just a long button up. I got this in an extra large because the review said that it was running a little small. Playing games, long sleeve top. And this is another one I thought would be really cute with just like some biker shorts or some leggings and uh, you know, just to make it, or you can dress it up as well with some jeans and stuff like that. But I thought it could make it go, you know, can just make something look a little bit dressier that necessarily wasn't that dressy. It has like a lot of buttons. I like this though. It is loose and flowy. It is a very, very light top. I like the colors. You can wear this now and then you could also wear it again in the spring. And I just thought it was pretty. It was something different that I don't feel like we see too much on. I'll show you how we try it on now, but I definitely like this one and I recommend. Another staple piece that I was really interested in finding were blazers. I have a beige blazer from Fashion Nova from last season and I knew, to, knew I needed one in black. I really love how the blazers look again with those biker shorts and all that stuff where you bring a simple comfy outfit and you can dress it up and make it look high fashion I all right sorry my dog was going crazy but I really like the idea of blazers and how people are using them to take a simple comfortable um, leisure outfit and then kind of making it more of a high fashion statement I also love how you can take a pair of like casual jeans add a blazer to it and it adds more I also really really love how they're using the wide leg jeans with a t-shirt a fitted t-shirt knotted up and adding the blazer to it and I think that looks so nice. So you can do this so many different ways and it looks so cute. Um, and yeah, I think it'll just really add to something. I think this is a staple piece that everyone should have in their wardrobe and you could just go ahead and you can use them throughout the, I mean, these will never go out of style. You can use them forever. This one is called the Celine Blazer and I got mine in a large. I like it because it does have the lining so it'll complement your figure. It is a cuffed, like um, a kind of a slouch sleeve and it sits kind of low. I didn't want a cropped one, I wanted one that came about hip length and this has that. The, the, the pockets are non-functioning but I still think it looks really, really cute and you can really do so much different looks with these and again, I love the length of this. I definitely believe this is something you should definitely have in your closet because you can use it 
all year round, all different occasions, and it could really set off a standard outfit and really bring it to the next level. So I ended up getting this. This is kind of look kind of crazy right now, but I have this outfit in the blue shorts, and it's called Living It, Living in It Three Piece Legging Set, and this is that like soft like fuzzy material and it's a pair of pants with a tank top and the long duster over it and I was like I need this because I could just wear this duster everywhere I can use it as like a robe basically but this whole outfit could be just so cute if I'm like hey I'm not going anywhere but I'm making it I am making it a ritual a part of my daily routine to get up get dressed and put on some clothes and if like say it was like a bum day or a period day or like i'm not feeling the best but i still want to like look decent day i feel like this outfit can come in handy so and i feel like each piece is so you can just if it was too warm you could just wear this with a tank top i'll show you guys but i feel like this uh duster in itself like you can just wear this all year round and be comfortable so I definitely feel like this is something to have just for a backup for just one of those days the next thing I got were these jeans so these are what they look like I'm kind of nervous I got them in a 13 I'm wondering if I should have did a 15 these are called deep in my soul flare jeans so you guys know I've been really working on my weight loss journey and I've lost um in the last two months I've lost almost 20 pounds so it's I've been doing really well and my jeans are really big in the back so I'm having a lot of like a lot of struggles with finding jeans and I really really love that the flare legs have came back I love flare legs I think flare legs complement me so much just because of how my leg is shaped and I've always loved a good flare so I was like I would love a nice high-rise black flare jean so when I seen these ones I was like fingers crossed and I knew they were really stretchy and people said too that they ran a little big so I was like all right let me get a 13 I don't know if they're gonna fit but they do have some stretch <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to shove all of this in these jeans, but we'll see. I really like them though. I hope they fit. I do see though that these are gonna be those jeans that attract everything, so keep a lint roller handy. I have one in my car, I suggest everybody does. And lastly, I found this suit and I was like, look, this suit is so sharp and I really, really want it, even if I can break up the pieces. So it's a two-piece suit set and it's called Miss Independent Pants Set. So I got it in a large and I'm wondering if I made a mistake. I'm debating if I should have gotten an extra large and just maybe had it altered. But these are the pants. They are pleated in the front and I love a good pleat. They do have some stretch into them so I'm thinking they might be. And I want to see the, the uh, review said that to um, size down because I feel like they said it was really stretchy. But they are a wide leg pants and I thought these were so cute and I feel like I can wear these pants with anything. Like I can dress these up with different outfits, different sweaters and I could make mix, mix and match the top and bottom for this suit set and make many different outfits. That's also a thing that I have been noticing that people will buy these two piece sets because they're more price efficient and then they break it up and they make different outfits out of it. So yes, these will be more of a dressier type pant, but you can dress these down with whatever shoes you want to wear. And I don't know, I just thought these would be really nice. And I, like I said, I'm really pushing myself outside my comfort zone to make sure I get dressed. And maybe on a week I won't wear a dress, maybe I'll wear a pantsuit instead. Is it extra? Yeah. Are people probably looking at me? Yeah. Do I care? No, because you know why? We're working on being unbothered. That's why. So here is the top and the top I thought was like it. It is a vest, like a halter vest and you tie it in the back right here. And I just thought like, man, this is really, really sharp. I love the way this looks. And I figured you could even wear these with like a pair of jeans or something like that and do, do something with that. I thought it'd be really cute. You can do this with like a pair of jeans and toss on a blazer or maybe that white button up shirt and put that over with just to kind of set it off a little bit. I don't know, I feel like the possibilities are endless. It does have this button detailing in the front. Do they work? No, the buttons are just for show. But I just thought it looks really, really sleek and different and really cute. I'll show you how it looks tried on and see what you guys think. But I generally really, really am a fan of this and I hope it fits. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this fall fashion haul. I know that fashion is really to the individual and maybe some of the things or the way I like to dress may not suit you but maybe just to find some ideas and maybe some items that they had or maybe for something that maybe you thought wouldn't work for you or you wouldn't know how to put it together 
but now you can see that it can do multiple things. I highly suggest checking out Pinterest and seeing what kind of outfits they put together and what will work for you in your everyday life. I think the problem with me especially was that I was trying to find clothes for an occasion and I wasn't showing up for myself on the daily and I was saving the best of me for special occasions. I make it every day a special occasion and showing up for myself on the daily. So check out Fashion Nova. I'll leave a link down below. Highly recommend. There's something there for everyone and you won't be disappointed. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are new here, please subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Bye friends.